Yeah, it's Axel from Epilogue and this is one of the first videos we are making and a very basic one if you are working on a few GS project and you have any users you want to sign up you probably have maybe thought about that um, but probably not implemented it because a lot of websites haven't even though um, many many users actually say this is one of the most annoying things you, you can have in a uh, in a sign-up process or if you're logging in and that's um, showing showing whether uh, your password looks like this in blobs that's the usual way you see it or if you have a hide or show function here um, that allows you to um, to show whatever the password is it's a very easy way to um, to implement that in your future projects um, even though um, a lot of people actually don't do it um, so I'll take a few minutes to show you how we did it and um, you can then judge if you want to implement it in your in your own project as well we are not the only one who, who, who does that that's for instance if you go on Google sign in or create a Google account you have the same thing here or um, several other big websites to do it as well so let's start um, to to uh, do that basically what you have to do or what you should do is create a, a password container of, um, a password uh, component and we call it form password container and uh, it's basically not much there it's just a, a password that's your model that you pass through and a placeholder which I say it's just password that's the, um, the password uh, here it's the placeholder component here and I've, I've got a max length here and our only under proposition is just that we don't want to we have a, a style where we actually don't have a whole box but just a line below uh, as an optional optional thing in our forms good so the real thing to look at for this hide and show password uh, um, functionality is in the component itself you can see that the component is a very very short one not much there if you start from the beginning in the template part of the futures uh, futures part in the template part the very bit the very top it's not really relevant for us in our discussion about this functionality but the only thing it does is I, I like to have the max length here shown uh, in this case um, it's um, I only show it if if I type a lot so not at the beginning but at some point I want to want to show uh, how much how much you have left here um, something that people can implement or not so the the actual implementation um, is right here and it has three parts the very front part is what you would usually just put in there that's an input field and typically if you just hard code this without a hard show functionality you would say something like this input and then you say uh, type is password and you go class whatever class you have in our case it's just uh, you fuel width um, which is just be 100% of the width and you can say only under if you want to have it only under and then whatever style or other things you have for instance the max length um, which we have a we give a prop here and we say it's um, in this case it's 30 can be anything really but let's say 30 and so on and then um, you're basically done with your import thing and that would be the normal way to put a password in password input field if you want to hide or um, show the password based on an icon that you can show here like an eye that it's crossed out or not or you can if you don't want to include an icon you can just put hide and show here I know that uh, there are other big websites actually just put hide and show here we wanted to just use icons because they were available uh, you do it like this it's a very simple trick uh, you say okay um, I bind my type here to a variable called visibility and I say the default value is password that means default time you have just blobs here and you don't see the password on what happens if somebody clicks on it so we have two uh, 
to A elements here to sort of basically link elements where your cursor goes to a, to a link. And one is show password with a show password function. So if you click on a show password, the other is hide password. Um, the only difference between those two is that uh, one is my icon, which is the eye off, so crossed out, and the other one is in the eye open. So I've got two icons here that I just have, and based on which icon I show, I can say show password or hide password. And the only trick you have to do in your methods is to just say, well, if you say show password, then the visibility is of uh, type text. That is, that means that this variable is text and your input field is not password in here, but text as well, which is just a normal text field like here when I put my email in. And so people can, can see the password or not. Uh, it's, it's a very, very easy thing to do. Um, a lot of websites don't do it. And um, you might have had your own frustrations when you go to some website, you forgot your password, they put it in and uh, you say, well, that must be the password that I've put in, but it's a rather long one or whatever you did, and you mistyped it. Um, it's 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 really frustrating if you if you just hit on log in and it says, oh well, it's the wrong password, and you say, okay, which thing did I actually mistype? Because typically your password remains here and just says it's the wrong password, and then it really helps you to say, ah, okay, I I shouldn't have put the D in here, and you can just modify it or not. That's already it. So you have your uh, template here with the functionality here. Um, in our case, um, all our form components are globally registered, so I don't even have to put that anywhere in my login uh, template here. So I just have that globally registered and I can use it anywhere. So I just put it in here and uh, it works. If you wanna look at this, brief code and have some more explanation. It's uh, in the video description uh, for epilogue. Thanks a lot and see you around.